friends welcome back to my channel this is actually the first time i'm filming in the new year welcome to 2020 you guys i cannot believe that we are currently in 2020 i have like a new lease of life i'm super excited about youtube this year i'm getting my vibe back my energy back and my passion back for you guys and to share some amazing content with you guys so Today, because I got loads of votes and I was so surprised at the response of when I mentioned this video idea, I'm definitely going to be using the story post feature on YouTube more often because I think it's actually a great way to communicate ideas with you guys and let you guys know when things are posted. So keep a lookout over there and make sure you also ring the notification bell so that you're not missing out on the videos that I'll be posting for you guys. So anyway, today's video is all about my 2020 vision, which has been, it's been coined that term hasn't it like 2020 vision for this year so I want to share with you guys a bit of my vision board which I never usually do because I find it quite personal and just explain to you guys the differences I did this year because I do vision boards every year and sometimes I do them throughout the year when I just feel like I need a new like burst of energy and excitement towards my goals and then I will also go through some of the things that I did achieve in 2019 and things that I didn't achieve that are still on my list for the new year and then some of the things that I want to achieve for the new year you have still got a whole year ahead of you to achieve things so yeah let's get into it hmm how would I even describe 2019 for me I would say that it was a bit of a discombobulated year I feel like the beginning of the year started started off quite slow and quite peaceful um some things that I did achieve I signed with an agency funny enough didn't realize that by doing that I was actually preparing myself for what was to come I've heard a few people say this that the first half and the second half of 2019 felt like two different years I completely 100% agree with that I think something was in the water last year I was a bit frustrated because I wanted things to happen that's how I would describe myself in the first half then the second half came and it was like boom self-employment just came literally on my birthday I turned 26 and I was self-employed the day before that so things just took off from there in terms of the energy and the enthusiasm and the passion had to come from somewhere because I was now super reliant on myself <laughs> Um, I then from that became a full-time dog mummy to Richie because that was something that was actually on my vision board last year um, in some kind of way I didn't make it completely clear that I wanted to be self-employed but I mean I made it clear everywhere else other than my vision board like self-employment was a goal every single month in my diary um, which is why I do believe in you know like speaking things out there but also you have to work towards it you know but I think speaking it out there also holds yourself accountable I also got to work with loads of like brands and uh, people that I have wanted to work with especially like repeat working so I worked with share to buy again I worked with Skipton building society again I really really wanted to amp up my events because when I first started all of this I did loads of talks and events and then I started to find it really draining and I took like a year out I also hosted in my first ever event with stepladder and I actually hosted that which was like a super huge achievement and it was amazing and by the way I'm actually doing one again this January so the event right link will be down below and it is going to be called new year new home so if you are someone wanting to get a new home this event is going to blow your socks off and it's going to be great for you so I was featured in quite a lot of publications I worked with one of my favorite brands i mean you guys would know this is right move and um, they featured me they had a full-on article about me their emails that they sent out to thousands of people my face was in there but when you went onto the right move page when you just did rightmove.com or whatever my face you scroll down my face was there like that was so huge so that was amazing as well another thing that i'm super super proud of i guess achieving but also like executing really would have to be my little idea move with jade the series that you guys are loving um it was actually this time last year that i started it i ran with the idea and you guys liked it so i have actually created eight episodes to date and there is another one coming out like next week I can't wait to show you guys um and I'm filming another one next week which is amazing so I think my aim this year is to try and get one at least out a month who knows I might get two out a month and you know this year I'm going to take it up a notch 110 percent I want to always develop and do better um and out of those eight I think about five of them were actually paid that is mad considering it was just an idea and people actually bought into it 
and got great results from what I did. I mean, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for always supporting and viewing um, and liking. All of that goes a long way and helps me to continue to create amazing content for you guys. And if you have any ideas or things you want me to do, just always feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you have on your mind. So some of the things that I didn't achieve yet, but I feel like I'm close to doing, fingers crossed. The first thing would be that I didn't hit 50k subscribers, which was my aim for 2019, but it's fine. I'm like 5,000 away. So it just means that I've got to pull my socks up, be creative, really get ideas out there and hope that you guys enjoy what I'm creating. Tell a friend, tell a friend share my videos i appreciate it all the other thing is that i had a business that i didn't get to start that i have planned to start two years ago so i haven't done it but i feel like this year may be the year i'm not gonna jinx it but it's possible i think i'm in a better mindset um i think i'm a bit more organized i think i'm a little bit more prepared this year than i was so perhaps those years weren't really the times anyway let's move on to 2020 now shall we because 2019 is gone let's like move on to the future <laughs> so you guys i'm gonna show you my vision board now which looks so gorgeous what i do every single time i create vision boards is section them now i did want to do like separate ones which i think i may do for different areas like um business lifestyle health uh travel or whatever this is the main one and i don't even feel like this is my final final one but i just really enjoyed doing it usually i would have like loads of images but this time i took it a different another step further a little bit um i cut out loads of words phrases and things that evoked feelings of excitement and joy things that really did motivate me not just good pictures so i kind of toned down the pictures a bit and i put some quotes i put little cuttings from articles happiness is here i don't know if it's picking up on the camera but that is right at the beginning and at the top because that is really my aim for this year is to be happy here wherever i am on any day i just want to find joy and happiness where i am i want to really be happy with the work i'm creating and i also want to find happiness in the fun that i'm enjoying yeah so i've got like luxury living glamorous obviously i've got a couple of designer bits here top to toe glow i've got like set because i want to be on set this year whether it's my own set for a show whether it is a bbc set or a channel 4 set whatever i'm speaking it out i want to be on set i want there to be snacks i want there to be hair and makeup this quote here says tapping into new habits that is exactly what i'm trying to do i'm trying to unlearn a couple of habits that i have built up over the years and tap into new things i would love to visit new york but new york doesn't have to be exactly new york it could just represent some kind of city trip and what else i've obviously got home stuff and interiors and a bit of business stuff a bit of love um radiance a clear future like a house that i would like to live in you must have vision if you are going to do anything meaningful a vision you believe in and express consistently and so this is what this is all about it's about having vision and believing in it and expressing this vision consistently so i have been looking at my vision board daily and going through the images and invoking those feelings and that excitement and that just inspiration by reading these quotes and kind of speaking them out as if they are my life and then i think monthly or weekly sorry i'll go and do the same thing for the rest of the year because as that quote says you can have a vision but you also have to consistently speak out on it consistently prune it and develop yourself this year is all about vision of course um happiness being intentional i found it really hard i really wanted to kind of have one word for the year i'm not dead set on my word yet but i have a couple of words floating around but one of the main things that i actually want to achieve this year is i want my spiritual journey with god to be even better even stronger many of us go into new years and we're like saving going to the gym and getting out of debt and i think i want to do all three of those like i'm not in super huge debts or anything but anything that i pay for monthly i actually want to be able to pay off um this year just because i want that freedom back of not having things i pay for monthly you know my last video was on savings um and easy ways to save and have you guys started doing that stuff because i have i'm using the cashback apps 
I'm having no spend days, especially because I stay home. So I am doing meal prepping. Go and watch so you know what we're discussing and what we're talking about right now and you can get on track. Some things that I'm working towards this year, 100K subscribers, which basically would mean that I have to slightly more than double what I'm currently on on this day in January. But we have to make goals and work towards them. After the success of my uh, event that I hosted with Step Ladder, I did say that I really, really wanted to be able to be a part of an event every single month and I am hosting another one with stepladder this month and I am already scheduled to be doing an event in February so let's see how March and so forth goes um but I mean I'm starting as I mean to go and I'm super excited because I just want to meet more of you guys talk more share my knowledge and encourage more that's one of my biggest biggest goals of the year and another like really important goal for me is to naturally become a morning person. The last sort of four months of working full time, I was an early riser and I actually started to become natural to me because in order for me to park at that underground station, I had to get there super early. I would get there between 6.30 a.m. to 6.45 a.m. And that was the window for me to get a parking space. Any later, there would be no spaces in the car park. And it was underground, so I was willing to do that sacrifice in order to spend less on my travel every day. I would start work at 8 a.m. and I'd finish at 4. So I really became used to that and I was waking up without my alarm. But obviously after, you know, becoming self-employed, things kind of get relaxed. You realize you can lie in now. And now I'm struggling in the mornings. There are obviously loads of things that I want to achieve. If you guys have been following me for all these years, you know that I'm quite a dream chaser. I'm motivated. I like to work hard. I like to achieve things. Um, of course, property is also on my horizon for this year, delving even deeper in to property. But I don't really want to go too much into that because I don't want this video to be about my goals. I want you guys to take some of the things I'm saying and think about how you can apply them to your lives, whether you're like 100 on those areas or whether you have things that you need to work on so you guys to round off this video because i'm aware that i'm like waffling on because i'm just too excited about 2020 um i want to actually give away something it's nothing huge not yet but i will be doing a huge giveaway when i get to 50k i promise um, but this giveaway is just for anyone out there who actually needs that little boost when it comes to their money management. So this is a book that I have discussed so many times. I've even interviewed the author of the book um, and it is the money book, a user's guide. I love this book. It's got so much great information in there when it comes to debt, to saving, to credit. And I think it would just be a great read to start the year with. So in order for you to win this book, you guys, I would like you to leave a comment down below and comment your top three things that you want to work on this year or that you want to achieve this year. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you are following me on Instagram and Twitter when you actually do that comment down below with your goals. Write down your Twitter and Instagram ads if you have either one. You don't have to have both. Yeah, I think that's it. And then I'm going to send it. You don't have to be in the UK. This is open to anyone. And if you haven't already, watch my previous video, which is all about saving tips and habits for the new year. I love you guys so much. I cannot believe that we are here another year again. You're not sick of me yet. Um, please do also share this video with anyone and let's just get things buzzing. Let's get things growing and going and comment as well. A separate comment. You can comment as many times as you like and let me know what videos you want to see this year. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>